Welcome to the guide. I'm Yo. That's Will. As you can tell, I am ready for some football. And I'm so glad the NFL worked out their whole issue of like, we have so much money, we're going to fight about it <laughs> problem. And they figured out, right. yeah, well, let's, let's give the fans what they want in football. But even if that hadn't happened, at least we know that NFL Madden will deliver for us each and every year an enjoyable experience. But I have to admit, this year's Madden is really tough. Probably the toughest one I've played in recent memory uh, because of all the improvements to the defensive AI, which there were a lot of. Right. Now, this time on this Madden, the, they don't stay in their zones. If you got wide receiver coverage, they're going to follow you across the field until another defender catches up on that. Yeah, I've had some trouble with the zone in this version of Madden because I got used to picking apart those holes in pass man they're not there anymore right and, yeah. in fact one of the weird experiences was there were times when all my receivers were covered and I'm not used to that happening or if it does happen I'm used to being able to squeeze a pass in to one of the covered receivers anyway right. you can't do that this year in Madden because it's going to get picked off so my guys are covered. I don't know what to do. I run around until I get sacked, and it's like third and 45. And then you're experiencing the same difficulties on the defensive end because there is no tackle suck zone anymore. Right. You can't <laughs> run by somebody and just grab onto them like in previous Maddens. Yeah. You've got to really plan out your your uh, angle of attack on tackling. I have missed some big sacks <laughs> yeah. and some big plays. Like I had a running back in the back backfield. I know I'm going to get him, but my angle isn't quite right, and right. I just run right past him by like a half inch, and they're gone for a touchdown. So uh, the on-field improvements are, are, are minor, but they're enough to kind of give the, day, the game a different flow and make it feel more fluid. A lot of the improvements are, are presentation-wise. Right. They make this look like you're watching an actual it football really game. Does. Even from the giant uh, air balloon uh, mascots for the teams when yeah. you run out in the pregame or whatever, it's it's very ridiculous. And then all the, the broadcast shots of like the blimp over the stadiums and stuff. It looks really cool. Right, the first the first football game to include blimp shots like and this. And it looks just like it does on TV. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of changes to the presentation, which I think are for the better. Right. Uh, the commentary is still really repetitive, really repetitive. And the new commentary in there doesn't quite match up audio wise to the old commentary. So you can ah. tell when it's a new clip or an older clip. Right. The big change is the online communities this this season. Yeah, yeah. This so easy. They, they make it very easy this time to yeah. set up your online communities and you're able to be involved in more than just one online franchise. Well, the nice thing about that is you can finally be sure that you're going to be playing with people who are similar to you. Yeah. My problem with playing Madden Online, I was sure it was an ex-football player and a current pro gamer because <laughs> they would destroy me. And now you can, and also like the online leaderboard, I'm 785,260th on like the worldwide leaderboard. And like so now you can do a leaderboard with just your friends and kind of not worry right. about the fact that wow, I'm really terrible compared to the vast majority of people. Right. And one of the things I thought was really cool when you're playing through the season is Madden, it keeps up with the stats on oh, yeah, the yeah. actual players. So if if your quarterback isn't doing so hot in real life, then his confidence levels are going to fall down in the game. Yeah, I haven't seen a huge impact to the whole dynamic player performance yet. It, it doesn't feel like it, it unbalances anything drastically, but it adds kind of that wild card, you don't quite know what's going to happen, the any given Sunday right. feel to, to the overall football game. So I've really enjoyed uh, this version of Madden 12. Again, it's not a huge change from last year's, but there are minor tweaks and improvements. Of course, most football fans are going to get it anyway. Right. Most Madden fans are going to get it anyway. Yeah. I'd say there's nothing here that would change someone who change someone's mind who doesn't want to play Madden or hadn't thought about there's nothing there that's going to, oh, now I'd like to do it. Yeah. But there's enough there to keep the fans interested and enjoying it. Uh, I'd give Madden 12 uh, a 5 out of 7, 7 being perfect because uh, it does make enough improvements to keep things enjoyable, but there's still some of those old issues that keep coming back each and every year that right. still haven't been been tweaked enough. So uh, there's our review of Madden NFL 12 and also be looking for uh, the guides online uh, Madden 12 community which will get started soon which will be very fun to play if you guys want to join us and play against us in Madden that's going to be cool and you can get details and information about that from our website visit us on gameandmovieguide.com or if you'd like to join in discussion we've always got our facebook.com forward slash gameandmovieguide and thanks for joining us here on the guide